Hey guys, it's Madame Moria. Welcome back to New Pimp in Animal Crossing City Folk. It is officially um, our second actual day here since last time was some back recording just so we got our job done. And we joined the Happy Room Academy, blah blah blah, so we have to make our house look nice. Um, okay, here's the big cliffhanger I left you guys with last time. It's coming, I promise. There it is! Look at it! It's a huge pink stuffed panda bear. That's like the best thing in the world. Seriously? Like, what are the odds of that? That's crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm still like in shock that that was the one thing for sale that day. Um, but now it's time to go see what's for sale today. And it's also time to get um, more acquainted with everyone in town. There are still several people we haven't met. Um, not necessarily neighbors, but just people in town. And then we need to get working on paying off our loan and everything else. Uh, what up, Tom? Well, these are some interesting pieces. Um, yeah, let's not check this. No, check this out. Some kitchen tile? No, I don't want kitchen tile. I want something cooler than that. Bamboo wall? Yeah, let's wait. P.S. For those of you still stuck in the GameCube version, um, that version had um, the raffle. Like, at the end of every month, there'd be a raffle. Um, and you could win prizes. Well, this time, it's not like that. There's, like, a point system. And that's it. So... A samurai suit! <laughs> Awesome! Okay, no. Uh, I keep getting yelled at. You guys are like, don't run on the grass! It's kind of funny. I know. I shouldn't run on the grass, but um, I can't help it. I don't want to take up 10 million years. Um, oh well. We'll figure it out. Let's see. What up, Rosie? Why don't we talk to Rosie? Because she's adorable. Morning, Madam Chaps! What? Hey, Madam, guess what? you can totally opt out of getting those Happy Room Academy letters. What? Holy God, yes. I can't stand those freaking letters. Um, yep, I need to do some business at the town hall. Oh, Tiffany. Why are you here? Why would you adore... Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to you. You're annoying. What? Crap, we don't have a slingshot. P.S. When you see a package floating like this, you're supposed to hit it with a slingshot. Um, that was added in Wild World and City Folk. That is not in the version I played originally for GameCube. So, let's go in Rodeo's house. I don't think we've been in his... Wait, maybe we have been in his house. I don't know. No, we. I don't think we have. Aw, look at the bed! It's so cute! He's got a new shirt on, too. Hi, Rodeo. Um, well, we're not really here to hang out, but we are here to talk. Is that a urinal? Rodeo, why do you have a urinal on the side of your bedroom? Interesting. So anyway, I bet you guys are all wondering what kind of theme I want to go for, uh, for my own house. And I'm thinking a like, um, divided kind of thing. I want to do, like, one corner is the bathroom, one corner is the kitchen, one corner is the pimp side. What? What? Is this person new? I don't know. Um, but still, let me know your thoughts on what you think I should particularly do with my house since Pinky... <gasps> oh my god! Rowan! He looks like Tony the Tiger! Look at how adorable that face is! Aww. See, there's another neighbor with an R to start their name. That is the cutest dude ever. Aww, I already love Rowan. 
Maybe um, we could aim for Rowan to be our new boyfriend. Since we had Cody before, we'd love Rowan. Let's talk to him again, even though he's still got to unpack. Um, I love that in this game, uh, the animals move in and all their stuff's packed, and then like the next day it's unpacked. And uh, You can also sense when they're moving in the same way and convince them not to, at least in Wild World. I'd assume it's the same way in this. I don't know. Uh, that's something that was added that is not in the GameCube version, and I'm pretty excited about that because it's so cute. Um, okay, where are we going? We need to go... Oh, all... Well, we're going in the complete wrong direction. That's always good. Okay, I don't care. I'm gonna run. You know, the whole factor that the grass dies if you run on it really annoys me. Um, I don't like that. Alright, uh, to answer a couple questions, a lot of you have been asking, am I going to do Wi-Fi in this? Um, I don't know all the Wi-Fi features of this game yet, but I assume yes. Um, am I inviting people to my town, like, just randomly? No, I'm not going to share friend codes or any of that, sorry. Um, but, you know, I will be going into the city. I don't know if that takes Wi-Fi or not. It probably doesn't, but I like to imagine things do. Oh my god, I totally didn't introduce these people. Well, this is Mabel. And she is a designer, and this is her sister, Sable. Yeah, Sable never says anything unless you talk to her every day. Which we're going to try to remember to do, but we kind of failed to do that in Pimp Hood. What is this? This looks like Porco Rosso or whatever. Probably because Porco Rosso is a pilot. Hold on, try this on. Dumb. We are not buying this. I look like a doof. Alright, so first things first, we've got to meet the other pimps that we have yet to greet. Um, and then, on my own time, I'll be doing kind of what I did last year. I'll be planting a lot more fruit trees so we can start getting things paid off. What? Wait. Is there anything else? Oh, no. Doodly doodly doo. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Because the next person we need, or people we need to meet, are right in here. You will know them as former annoying policemen. And here's Copper. Hello and welcome to the checkpoint for bustling new pimp. Listen. Well, madam, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you go to him if you want to visit another town. Um, and I don't know if you go to... Okay. So, yeah, all you do is visit him if you want to go to another town. Uh, to get to the city, I think you just go to the bus stop, but I'm not, like, a million percent positive. I'll find out in just a second. I know somebody had to have told me, but whatever. All right, and basically, this is Booker. Uh, Booker is the dork of the two, who's a total doof. Um, he tells you what's new. If something's lost, you can change the flag, and you can ask him where you are if you're a total doofus. Um, what? Okay. I guess nothing is happening nothing's new. Something lost. We currently have items. We have four items. Well, these are totally ours. What? I wanted one! Dang it! That lawn chair was just mine. I know, they're not really mine, but we're gonna pretend like they are. Okay. So I can write letters with this. I can sell this. I need a new shirt because I'm still wearing the stupid uniform. Um, okay, so that's Booker and Copper. They were upgraded in position to guard instead of cop. Which is kind of weird, but kind of the same thing. Let me check this out. Wait. Bus to the city. No, not yet. We're not ready to go to the city. Okay, so that is what you have to do. I was correct. 
even though I have no idea what I'm doing half the time in this. Okay, and we've got, uh, well, actually a few more townspeople to meet, but I don't know where they are because I'm really bad at this crap. Alright, so yes, I'm going to call this our getting acquainted video. Yay, now we're even more emo. We're like those um, people who walk around the mall with like the zippers all over their pants. And they're like hanging down to their feet and stuff. Total. We're so cool. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments when you guys would like to go to the city. As I said, today's kind of more for getting acquainted um, with our surroundings here, but oh well. Anyway, it's time to meet Blathers. So Blathers is the annoying owl that babbles and babbles and babbles when you donate stuff to his museum. Um, thank God, if you remember in Pimphood, um, you had to send fos fo uh, fossils through the mail um, and you'd get them back identified and then you'd be able to turn them into the museum. Here? No! He can check fossils. Thank God! I am so happy for that. So now there's no mailing to be done for the museum. Aw, he's blushing. Um, that was like an annoying feature. I'm really glad they changed that. Now, as you'll notice, um, different from last time, there's a fish space, uh, a dinosaur space, that's the illegal zone, um, a art space, and a bug space. Um, and then we have a new area. I love this chick. Celeste. So this is Blather's daughter. I believe. Niece? I don't know. She's somebody. But anyway, she deals with the stars. She's really um, into astrology. So anyway, you can make constellations here and you can tell her she's adorable. How amazing is that? Um, and then you can look at your constellations through here. Yes, we would like to stargaze. Isn't that pimp? And then I believe if other people visit your town, and if you visit their towns, your constellations can um, then be seen in their sky, and th same thing goes for um, yours with, um, or reverse what I just said, the same thing goes for that too. Alright, so we'll come back here later and make a constellation. But for now we need to meet, I believe, the final person we have not met yet that doesn't have a catch to them because they're not here all the time. Um, Alright. Aww! Look at her! She's over there! Alice is having coffee! Anyway, this is Brewster. Need a little eye opener? Cup of coffee's 200 bells. Yeah, let's have coffee. Not that we really have the money for it because we're supposed to be paying off our loan, but... Anyway, Brewster is the barista here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a Starbucks, so we had to settle for this place. Um, that is so cute that Alice is here, though. House blend. Fun fact, I actually cannot stand coffee. Um, this will make us super perky. Hooey! Hooey! Yeah, Michael Jackson doesn't really make that noise, but okay. We'll pretend like he does. Um. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this is where you find KK, too. You know how he was on, like, the train stop corner, but there's no train in the city, apparently? And I know we're not really in the city yet, but whatever. I like to imagine fun things with my mind. Um. Are those two toy pianos back there? That's so cute! But anyway, every Saturday night at either 7 or 8, I can't remember which, uh, KK will be here to sing us a song and provide our home with music. Uh, let's talk to Alice, because she's adorable. You see most, the most unusual and interesting people when you can sit here with a cup of coffee. Okay. Well, you're pretty cool, aren't you? Why are you sitting over there? I can't sit next to you when you're over there. 
Well, aren't you special? Alright, I guess we'll leave. Um, Alright, so we've officially met everyone left in town, again, who doesn't have a catch because they're only here at night, or they aren't here all the time, something like that. Um, Tiffany, I really don't like you. You're so annoying. Whatever. Okay, I don't care! I don't want to hear about your Happy Room Academy crap. You're annoying. Alright, so, um, next time we are going to work more on paying off our loan. Um, and I also want to use the next episode to get more acquainted with the neighbors than today. So, um, let me know in the comments section anything you request. Um, and also let me know when you would like to officially go to the city for the first time. Um, because that will probably happen during this week just to do something fun. Uh, I'm thinking Friday. I'm not sure. So let me know what you think, guys. This has been Madame Wario in New Pimp, and I will see you next time.